We are ready to cryosection our OCT embedded tissue block. Install the stage with the tissue block onto the specimen head of the cryostat. First, we will remove the excess OCT and expose the tissue. Continue sectioning until the tissue is visible. A tissue section size of 6.5 mm by 6.5 mm or smaller is compatible with Visium spatial slides. Large tissue samples can be scored during sectioning to generate smaller samples to fit into capture areas. Before scoring, remember to use an anti-roll plate to prevent rolling of tissue sections. Optimize the position of the anti-roll plate based on the tissue block size. To score, make a shallow incision about 1 mm deep on the cutting surface of the tissue with a pre-cooled razor blade. For example, to examine a specific region within one hemisphere of the mouse brain, scoring can be done by making an approximately 1 mm shallow incision at the midline of the brain. Now we are ready to section the tissue. Sectioning speeds depend on the desired thickness of the sections and the condition of the tissues. Harder and thicker sections require slow sectioning speeds. Faster sectioning speeds may lead to cracks or tears in the sections or damage to the tissue block or cryostat. If the sections appear cracked, the specimen head is too cold. If the sections appear crumpled, the specimen head is too warm. Adjust temperature accordingly. Once desired tissue section is obtained, carefully flatten it out by gently touching the surrounding OCT with cryostat brushes. Next, we will place the section onto the Visium slide. Place the section within a capture area on the pre-equilibrated Visium spatial slide by gently touching the section with the active surface of the slide. Do not place sections on a room temperature slide. The slide should be equilibrated to the cryostat chamber. Avoid contact between the active surface of the slide and the cryostat, as it can damage the oligonucleotides and decrease the capture efficiency of the Visium spatial slides. The tissue section should be placed within the fiducial or the edge frames of the capture area on the pre-equilibrated Visium spatial slides. Avoid covering the frames of the capture areas with the tissue. The tissue section on the Visium slides should be uniform without any cracks, tears, or folds. Immediately place a finger on the back of the capture area of the slide for a few seconds. This will allow the section to adhere to the slide. Ensure that the entire tissue section is fully adhered to the slide and the slide is inside a cryostat chamber throughout the section placement. Immediately place the slide with the tissue section on the cryo bar to freeze the section. Do not remove the slide from the cryostat chamber at any point during sectioning and tissue placement. Continue transferring sections on the remaining capture areas. Transfer the slide containing the tissue sections to a slide mailer. Seal and place in dry ice. Store slides individually with one slide per sealed container. If necessary, place the slides in a secondary container, such as a resealable bag. Make sure to transport the tissue containing slides on dry ice at all times. Maintain slides containing tissue sections in a cold, low moisture environment. Do not expose slides to room temperature, as the resulting condensation would cause tissue disintegration. Remove the leftover tissue block and specimen stage from the cryostat specimen head and place on the cryo bar. Cover the exposed tissue with OCT and allow to freeze. To separate the frozen tissue block from the stage, lift the tissue block and the stage from the cryo bar and lightly warm the stage with your hands or an aluminum block at room temperature. If necessary, trim the tissue block to fit into a cryo vial.
Store in a sealed container at minus 80 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. Separation of the tissue block from the specimen stage is optional. The frozen tissue block can be stored attached to the specimen stage in a sealed container at minus 80 degrees Celsius. We have placed the tissue sections on the slide and are now ready to begin the Visium Spatial Protocol.